Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to my channel. I am Beth, and this is Watercolor Painting in the Afternoon. I wanted to show you my finished painting before I get started on it. Um, this painting I almost tossed because I just thought uh, it was lackluster and a little bit flat and I made this whole video for it and I was just going to throw out the whole video and then I set it aside and I slept on the matter and I'll be honest with you when I got up the next day I still wasn't sure it was going to work but I darkened some areas especially up here on the hillside and I'm going to darken it just a little bit more just to show you what I mean uh, I came back in here and made sure that the hill looked like a hill and it was distinct from what was behind it. And that um, helped a lot with the way the picture looked. And now since I've done that, I'm going to have to come back in and darken the tree branches, or not the tree branches, the tree trunks, and make sure that they're seen. And um, so just a quick swipe right up here, a quick swipe with a darker gray, and um, just making sure that you can actually see where there's a differentiation between the green and the trunk. And over here as well, I've got a couple of trunks there you can't even see anymore because of that. All right, and then I came back and I thought that my water was too pale. And so I added some darker blue in the background there. And I'm going to add just a little bit more, darken that up so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to make it so that it's, it doesn't look shallow. It looks deep and, um, yeah, I mean, it, it looks a whole lot deeper and more um, contrasty, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And here in the waterfall itself, so you can come back here with some of that blue and make that a, look deeper. And um, in the waterfall itself, let's pull down some lines that are a little bit darker. And that way you can really see what's going on in the waterfall. So what I wanted to do, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you, don't throw your art away until you've slept on it. Um, yes, literally put it under your pillow. No, I'm kidding. Um, don't throw your art away until you've set it aside for a while and you come back and you look at it and you see what's missing. And maybe you get something really good out of it. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I did was choose my brushes, I, a large one and a couple of smaller ones just for details. And then I wet my paper down where I wanted there to be two hills that converge at the bottom with a waterfall. So that's why, why I'm wetting the paper down so that I can just block the color in and have it be spontaneous the way watercolor I think ought to be. Um, I'm just taking that little, that little bit in the middle out because I want water to be there and blocking it in. You don't want a lot of color on this part because truly you just are, are putting color in where you want uh, there to be some organic material, right? So like some greenery and different things. I just want a visual. That's all I want here. So I'm going to block it in. I'm going to block in the green and I'm going to block in the blue and then go from there.
And here I'm beginning to put in some rock formations right on the side of the hill, on both sides. I'm not trying to make this perfect. I just want it to look like uh, some rocks have been exposed by the water right on the hillside just before you get to the waterfall. And here I'm tapping some greens underneath the rocks. And if you have been watching my channel at all, you know that I have a tendency to jump around. So uh, one moment I'm painting on the banks of the, of the waterfall and the next minute I'm painting the tree trunks and the next minute the sky. So um, I do have a tendency to jump around a little bit. And uh, well, that's just how I paint. Perhaps you are more organized. Let me know you in the comments. Tell me, are you an organized painter or are you a, are you like an ADD painter like me? We're making a little bit of brown for the tree trunks. And here I'm starting to put the bank in. And in South Carolina, that means red clay dirt. So that's what I'm putting in, sort of a burnt sienna. And I believe I later on put both some um, dark gray, like a Payne's gray, and some burnt umber in it. And um, I wanted it to look like the bank was 
had been carved away by that water and was quite wet. So um, that's what I would be working on later. And now for the foliage in the trees, or at least some of it. And this is very blobby at first, and I'm just putting, I'm just blocking in color like I did at the beginning. Blocking in where I want the greenery to be the most pronounced. Now here's the first level of green for that hillside, filling it in, just making sure that I have it uh, at least blocked in. And then the background, some nice light yellowish greens, and then a few darker ones, especially along the water line. A little bit of blue for the water, and I do mean a little bit, it wasn't very dark. And then trying to make the splash at the bottom, sort of leaving a lot of white space for that splash. Then I started adding some darker blues to the background water, the water that's furthest away from us where the, all the splashing is occurring. Now, of course, watercolor dries a lot lighter, so all of this kind of faded, <laughs> faded off and really, um, it, was, it disappointed me at the end of the painting because it was so light. But I've already shown you that I went back uh, the next day and made it darker. So at this time, Let's just say we're blocking it in. And now a little bit more work on the banks, on the rocks, and flicking up some very dark color right along the water's edge. You want that to blend in with the dirt because there's rock here, there's dirt, there's um, you know, I'm, I kind of wish I'd put in some roots. I may go back and put some tree roots coming out of the bank. That would be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? And then I began putting more um, shadows and things like that along the bottom of the leaves. It can really help to pick up the paper at this point and let the paint pool near the bottom of your branch so that it looks like it's in shade and more color uh, accumulates there and it's, it dries a little bit darker. Then for a few final touches, 
I decided to darken some areas at the, on the far bank there and just to play around with the paints a little bit. And so this is the final painting. After I went back and played with the paints a little bit and tried to make it look a little bit uh, more contrasty and you know a little bit more realistic where the water is supposed to be deep and where the branches are supposed to be dark and the hillside is supposed to show up and all of those good things. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please uh, consider giving me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It really does help my channel. Thank you so much for walk, uh, watching today and, and happy painting.